Hi guys, and hello from the hilltop. I'm Wakta Haji Blue, and I want to welcome you to my channel, The Plateau Perfectionist. Today's video is my December 2022 plan with me in my Vivid Scribbles dot journal. So the colors that I will be using for this particular month are Zebra Mauve liners. The first is in the color lavender, which is kind of violet. It's this uh, kind of warm purple tone. And then my other color for this month was this lovely brown, which these both come in the basic mod liner packs. I also used this purple lip pen, which matched the violet color pretty perfectly, as well as just a couple of basic washies uh, that were more kind of slapdash here and there. I did also include just a gray mod liner just in order to add some extra dimension to my images. So for the month of December, I wanted to kind of do a Christmas type theme, but with a bit of a twist. Because of the brown, I wanted to... I just kind of wanted to do something a little bit different, because leave it to me to be different. And so the first thing I did was I decided to do my December title page here like they're hanging from the ceiling just because that is something that I, I kind of like to do when it's that time of year is, is hang decorations and naturally if they're spinning or something they're going to be a little bit backwards and then to kind of tie into the purple color as well as the brown uh, sugar plums we'll just go with sugar plums but with a twist so if you have never had a sugar plum, a sugar plum is actually not actual plums per se. I mean, a, a sugared plum is, but a sugar plum is not. It is a dessert that is wrapped around a cardamom seed, and they are kind of a darker purple. They're not like purple purple, but because of the because of the purple color, the the violet color, that's that's what I did. The brown, on the other hand. I decided to do capybaras. Seriously, have you have you ever heard of a, a a capybara sugar plum? I told you I was gonna be different. <laughs> I I really don't know where this came from. Um, it was kind of inspired by an image that I had seen while perusing through Pinterest. It was this little fairy unicorn capybara uh, statue thing it was all white and gold and sparkly and it was adorable and that's kind of just stuck in my head for for months and since i ended up with these two colors for the month of december i decided to just kind of be creative and mix a little bit of um, south america which is where capybaras originate from and just a little bit of north america christmas which is the sugar plum fairy and, you, you know, capybaras are one of the largest rodents in the world, and, and they eat things like plums and, and other fruits and, and their herbivores. It was just kind of a, a, a play on... on a, it was just it's Christmas with a twist. They had to me to do Christmas with a twist. Um, so here's a couple of capybaras. Uh, I did them in all different sizes. So these particular capybaras are the size of the sugared plums. So there's, you know, they're, it's like a, they're very tiny in perspective because a sugared plum is actually um, about the size of something you would, you would hold in your hand. It's a dessert. So in perspective, these capybaras are very tiny. And then on other pages, I have like one sitting there eating sugar plums that are the size of its paw, so they're they're bigger and smaller. Why? Because I wanted to. That's what I did. Um, so I that was that's the whole purpose is just to have a little bit of fun. It's Christmas with a twist. And seriously, who would have expected sugar plum fairy capybaras?
So in order to give these particular caviabaras and the images a little bit more of a depth, I did take a black lapin and add just a bit of an outline in certain places. Nothing horribly um, outline-y, for lack of a better term, but I did want to kind of give a little bit more depth. Uh, I also mentioned that I used a gray mild liner in order just to give some added shadows to both the capybaras as well as the sugared plums. Uh, I also decided to keep consistently using the gray to outline the fairy wings and then use the purple inside to give more of a design. Also, the design of the fairy wings is actually an homage to Tinkerbell's wings from, from Disney with the swirls to them. I wanted to just kind of keep it simple. The, the capybaras in and of themselves are, are very brown in comparison to the, the rest of the picture, and so I didn't want the fairy wings to be like overly designed. Just, just keep it uh, simple. And just enjoy the, you know, enjoy the, enjoy the fairies. <laughs> this is actually the first time I've ever done fairies, to to be completely honest. Um, don't get me wrong, I love fairies. I love things that are, are mythological. You know, I've done dragons before. In one of my October spreads was dragons, um, and I've done uh, manatees, which are chubby mermaids, if you want to go that route. <laughs> But um, this is the first time I've ever actually done fairies. Um, so if you see here on this particular plum, the, the black spot at the center of the sugar plum is supposed to be the cardamom seed. Since I was using a limited color palette, I didn't make the sugar plums the exact color a sugar plum is. But I think it goes uh, just fine, keeps it simple. And I did include just a little bit of a shadow underneath the capybaras. Just, you know, add a little bit more depth here. <clears throat> so for the two-week, uh, two-week, <laughs> two-page calendar spread, um, I decided just to repeat the colors of the brown, the purple, and the gray uh, for the days of the month. Um, I just freehanded these squares. I had a general, as you can see the little marks all over the page where I had marked out the, the days for this, but I freehanded all of the boxes just to kind of give it that more freeformed look. I wasn't really going for, for perfection for this particular month because it's supposed to be fun and whimsical and freeforms like this just are a little bit more on the whimsical side for me. Um, also, you might notice that my Monday boxes are slightly smaller than the rest of them. That is just because of how everything mathed out. When it comes to an A5 journal like this, um, the average pages, at least width-wise, I believe are... They're not enough to do a 5x5 five five box all the way across. It's like one or two... Um, space grids too small in order to do a 5x5 five five box uh, four all the way across otherwise it ends up going off the edge of the page especially if you're trying to allot for um, a grid space in between each box so you'll notice the Monday is actually 5x4 five is it 5x4 five or 6x5 it's 6x5 sorry <clears throat> I do try to go for uniformity, but I wanted some more space on the Saturdays and Sundays for December because I do know December's weekends are going to be busy, especially since Christmas falls on a weekend for this particular year. So that is why Monday was a quote-unquote sacrificial lamb and it's, it's, it shrunk. <laughs> um, but at least I remembered to write Monday's through Sundays on the tops of these <laughs> and I made sure they were in the right order <laughs> unlike my what was it October oh I still feel bad about October oh well poor baby so as you can see my capybaras here these are slightly different in proportion size to the sugar plums like this one here is eating little sugar plums off of a plate so this would be a bigger capybara if you go by sizing um, 
I don't care. It, it's a, an adorable capybara enjoying being lazy because capybaras are lazy. <laughs> or these sugar plum fairies are. If you had that much sugar, I don't doubt it. But um, So in case you were curious on how I actually do these, I did a general sketch of how I wanted them to look. I went over them with the brown zebra mild liner. Then I went over it again with the brown zebra mild liner just to give it that extra dimension because mild liners shade over themselves very well because of their, their highlighter type color makeup. I also used the gray just for some additional shadows and I used the black lip pen just for a little bit of an outline here and there just for where the, the nose is, the eyes, and the feet. I used the gray outline for the actual wings and then the purple on the inside for the design and that's that's about it. <clears throat> Add some, some washi tape and, and we're good. Pardon if you hear me sipping on some tea. So, the month of November has been a doozy. I had surgery in November, and um, it was it was actually more of a major surgery than I've I've let on in previous voiceovers. There was a, a breathing tube put down my throat, and ever since then, my throat has been kind of on the sore side, so I've been trying to sip on tea and take it easy in order to um, to nurse myself back to health. On top of that, um, the surgery itself, they, um, they took a few more pieces than I was originally uh, informed, so uh, my body is slow to recover in some aspects so I'm just trying to take it easy and, and take a break and so I was smart and I went ahead and filmed all of this before my actual surgery and that's also one reason why it's taken me a while to um, get this video up is because I've still been trying to recuperate as well as the holiday you know Thanksgiving holiday here in America up and coming and all that stuff um, so yeah, that's, that's one. I do apologize for this video being a little bit on the late side, um, but I've been a little preoccupied. So this is my budget spread. You've seen me make this. It's, it, it is what it is. I did include just this little bit of a um, plaid pattern here at the top, just as an added pop of color. I didn't quite want to just use washi tape. I, I wanted to add something, so I, I just did this little this little plaid pattern. Uh, zebra mild liners are wonderful for making plaid designs and I just used a little bit of purple. I did outline these particular words just the, on the budget and I, I kind of made them haphazard and lazy looking because in the month of December with all the purchases for Christmas and things my budget kind of gets thrown out the window so we'll, we'll just go with it here. Um, so speaking of budget, my next year I am going to try to do a little bit of a no spin challenge for the year, but I'm still quite, not quite figured out the rules for it, so I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm still thinking on it, I'll probably discuss it uh, when I do my setup for it next year. This page is a little different. This is something that I haven't done in previous ones, but I figured it would be a pretty good fit for prepping for next year. This is a brain dump page for the upcoming year, for 2023, of things that I would like to put into my setups. So something that I have decided is I am going to try to fit the entirety of 2023 into a single journal. I'm going to just uh, keep it simple, keep it minimal. I already have an idea of what I'm going to do for a color scheme, which will hopefully stay consistent through the entire year. Um, I also have picked my dot journal specifically because it has a large number of pages, so I can hopefully fit all of the year in one journal. I managed to succeed with that in my Teku Core for 2021. And I actually really enjoyed having that particular journal for the whole year instead of having to split everything up uh, into two different journals. So <clears throat> this brain dump page is to kind of help plan out some of that for 
next year and then this page here the plans page is for things that need to either be done in order to prep for the main holidays at the end of December or things that I would like to do for Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, you know, the, the major holidays. It's more of a filler page and an excuse to draw another capybara, but that is what it is. So here are my weeklies. You've seen me make these before. I have found my groove when it comes to making weeklies. I really enjoy having them as Dutch drawers just because it limits the extra amount of space that gets wasted, as well as having my habit tracker here on one side or the other so that I can see it throughout the entire month with my weeklies and still be able to track things pretty effectively. Having it on a separate page like some people do just does not work for me. It doesn't work from the way my brain functions. So having it here and then cutting my weeklies to have the Dutch doors usually with tabs just works better that way. Um, as for designing the weeklies, they are pretty uniform. I alternated weeks for having either the brown as the line dividing the two or the days and then I'd have the purple so it was just kind of an alternating of the brown and the purple and then I went back through and wrote out you know Monday through Sunday with their days and the extra box is for anything coming up in the next week you'll also notice that there was a big blank space on that front page because of the way that the first week of December falls that's fine. I have a tendency to have a lot of sticky notes for the month of December because I'm constantly making lists of things that I either need to purchase, such as gifts, um, or thing, uh, doctor's appointments. My month of November was filled to the brim with uh, sticky notes because of doctor's appointment notes. And so having this little blank space here by the first few days of December, that gives me a place to slap those sticky notes without taking up too much of the space for the actual um, Dutch door pages. So this little cutting page, cutting mat thing, as well as the X-Acto knife, I actually found those at Ross. And it, I liked it because it was the perfect size. I am still learning how to use the X-Acto knife. You'll notice here on this particular tab, um, my knife kind of zigged where it should have zagged. And so my little tab here thing is a little deformed, but it, it, it'll work. I'm still practicing on how to use this knife. Uh, X-Actos are not something that I have a particular amount to practice with. I will say because of the way that these weeks fell, there was uh, four tabs in total. 
so having them having the days of my week set up the way that they are I knew exactly how big to make the tabs for these weeks uh, I probably should have done no having four tabs there because of the way that the weeks fell was good because once I flip that final fourth tab I am on the last week for December and I, in my mind it all worked out in the end so yeah um, so this little cutting board came with the exacto knife as well as some spare um, blades and it came with a cover and then this little uh, corner rounder clippy thing is the pink thing is just off of wish um, it I ended up with the size that it did because it said you know it would send me a random one and it turns out to be just about the size that I need it to be and that's that's how I do my weeklies. I know they look a little uniform and I keep doing the same weeklies over and over again, but if that's what works for me, then that's what works for me. And I hope that it kind of gives you the inspiration of, of what to do. Now, as for this last little strip here, um, as you can see, my habit tracker is on the left. I didn't quite know what I wanted to do on the right. So I decided to freehand some capybaras. I actually did two. Um, as you can see, the lines for my weeks were a little long towards the top. So in order to cover that, I did uh, one capybara down here at the bottom. Um, I didn't quite measure it out right because the, the wings kind of fall off the edge, but it is what it is. And then I have one on the top. The good thing about Zebra Mod Liners is that because they are designed to be kind of like a highlighter in and of themselves, you can write over them pretty easily and still be able to see what you wrote. Some of the Crayola Super Tips and other colors, especially dark colors, that can get a little bit of a challenge. But the Mod Liners, they're designed to be kind of like a highlighter, hence the name. So they, it, it works better that way. But here's that second capybara. I think they actually turned out pretty cute, especially for freehanding these off the top of my head and not quite sure what I was doing. Um, and then we're up to the final flip through. So I will go ahead and tell you thank you so much for watching and I appreciate y'all for taking the time to watch my weeklies and my design here. I know they're not as fancy or as well designed as some other people's have been known to be but I do this for fun and I hope you enjoy what I have my content that I put out and and if you did and you feel inclined please give it a thumbs up I had no pressure like I said I do this for fun I don't do this for for views or for likes this is just something that I have a passion about and keeps me sane <laughs> something else to think about other than my other job and and surgeries and anyway so thank you so much for watching uh please enjoy the flip through i'll stop talking now and i will hope to see you for the setup for 2023 bye